Rarely a week goes by that I don't get an email saying, can you help me pass the ABO? Well, today I am here to tell you, yes, I can. Hello and welcome to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we are going to hit the whiteboard and I'm going to give you nine tips to help you pass the ABO. The ABO is the American Board of Opticianry Exam, also known as the NOCE or the National Opticianry Competency Exam. It is an entry level written certification exam that simply shows an employer or a state that you have the most basic knowledge of the foundation that's required to be a good optician. Let me hit the whiteboard with you and give you nine tips. Step number one says memorization. Now, because I am old and I've already passed the ABO, I'm not going to memorize. I'm actually going to use a cheat sheet today. There is a lot that you're going to need to simply have up here. You're obviously not allowed to bring anything into the testing center. Things like the layers of the cornea, you're gonna need to have it all up here. All the muscles that control the movement of the eye, which one does, up here. All your rules for prism, canceling, compounding, it's all gotta be up here. The only way to do that, good old fashioned memorization. Four tools to help you with that. I like the fill in the blank diagrams like these. Uh, I probably used that myself when I was studying in school. Those are really helpful. Good old fashioned mnemonics. Things like what are the component colors of white light? Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Uh, mnemonics, they do help. Audio sessions. I've um, started to see a lot of people that'll make up audio sessions, listen to it in the car on the uh, way to work and back. Flashcards, of course, good, good old fashioned flashcards. Make these up yourself, work them by yourself or with friends, family. Best ABO study source is eh, opticianworks.com. Look at that. Make a memorization notebook. What does that mean? Well, get yourself a notebook, three ring binder, fill it up with all of those things. The fill in the blank diagrams, your mnemonic clues, your audio sessions, your flashcards, all of those things. Keep them in the notebook, carry it with you, break time, downtime, take out the notebook and do some studying. Number two, visualization. I think this is an extremely underutilized technique. What does it mean? It means literally to close your eyes and put yourself in the situation that the question is asking you. These are particularly helpful when you're talking about dispensing questions, right? If you stop and think, the question comes up and it says, frame is on a person's face, the chassis is low on the left-hand side, how would you fix it? Close your eyes, put on that pair of glasses, tilt it. How would I get this to move up? I would push down on this temple. That would push it up. There's my answer. Who cares what the guy next to you thinks you're doing? You're, you're worried about passing your ABO. Visualization, especially if you have a little experience, huge, huge help. Number three says practice until. Practice until what? Practice until it hurts. Now, what on earth do I mean by that? This is about the prism problems. Everybody always struggles with the prism questions. There are only a set number of ways those questions can be worded and designed. And they will always end up with an error either at 90 or 180. If you practice the prism questions that we give you on the site, draw them out 10 times, 15 times, 20 times, for each of the scenarios given, up, down, in, out, plus, minus, canceling, compounding, you will begin to see a pattern. It's the pattern that you want. Because once you get to exam day, you get your question, you draw it out, you've got five answers, possible answers in your multiple choice. You can toss a couple of those out just by seeing that pattern. So that's why I say practice those things until it hurts. If you go to the Optician Works website, become a member. We have a test bank of over 300 questions designed just like the ABO, computer-based, to help you as well. 
Number four says draw it out. Pretty self-explanatory. You're given a piece of paper for a reason, scratch paper. Use it. I guarantee if you do not draw your prism questions out, you're going to get them wrong. Don't do that. Draw them out. You've seen the drawing a hundred times before. You should have done it a hundred times during your practice sessions. If in doubt, draw it out. Number five. Get it? A little experience. <laughs> a little experience won't hurt. It will help you put these things together. Not everybody has the luxury of getting that experience first. If you can, I would say do it. Number six says, what works for you? This one's kind of a pet peeve of mine. This is for all you folks that are in a group of some kind. You're in a class, you're in a college program, apprenticeship program or something. If the rest of the class wants to do study group and study group doesn't work for you, then don't go to study group, right? Tr trust me on this. This one's really important. Find what works for you, your learning style, your study techniques, and stick with that. Number seven says study sources. I'm gonna give you four really excellent sources to help you pass the ABO. Warning. <coughs> On the internet, you are going to find tons of material. 90% of it is garbage, all right? A week never goes by that I don't get an email with somebody asking me, hey, I can't answer this question or I keep getting this question wrong. It's because the question doesn't make any sense and the answer is wrong. Trust the sources, keep it to a couple of them. Don't be going out and looking for trouble. Four excellent sources for you. Of course, the Optician Works complete program is the way to go. We have, far as we know, no one has ever truly worked through the program, done everything they're told and not past the ABO. There is the free ABO study guide, both on the Optician Works website and the Laramie K Optical website. If you have some experience, you just feel it's time to take the test, you may do just fine with that alone. There is a Quizlet set of flashcards. I think there are about 300 of them created by Matt King, who runs Digital Lens Solutions Lab. Matt really knows his stuff. You can trust his questions and uh, his material. So I'd urge you to go over and download that set of flashcards. I also just plain love this book, The Optical Formulas Tutorial. Uh, you know, it's not perfect and you do not need to work through it from cover to cover, but man, as a source goes, it's one of the best. So I would suggest grabbing a copy of that as well. Number eight says, plan ahead. Months, not weeks. I don't think a couple of months ever goes by that I don't get a hard luck story, all right? I get somebody who says, you know, I've screwed up at work for the third time, and now they're telling me if I don't get my ABO by next month, I'm gonna get fired. I'm sorry, a little tough love here, but you're not gonna pass the ABO in four weeks from now. I'm sorry, it's just, it's just not gonna happen. It doesn't work that way. Is the ABO a really hard test? Well, no, it's not. But there are a whole lot of concepts, all that memorization stuff you need to do. You're not talking weeks, you're talking months. Bare minimum, somebody with great experience really puts their effort into it, probably about three months of study time. For all the rest of you, if you really put in some effort, probably about six months. For those of you starting from scratch, you're probably looking at almost a year of prep time before you wanna go and try to sit for it. It's expensive, you don't wanna do it more than you have to, so plan ahead. Number nine says be a Boy Scout. What is the Boy Scout's motto? Be prepared. We're talking test day here. It's finally time to actually take the ABO. Here are some tips to get you through that day. One, you know, I, it seems silly, but just eat a good breakfast. Uh, you know, you need a little energy up there to keep that brain ticking. Arrive early, know where the test center is, know how long it's gonna take you to get there from home, know where to park. A lot of those places are kind of hard to find. They're in strip malls. You may have to pay for parking, make sure you got money. Be prepared. Arrive there early enough to give yourself a few minutes of downtime. Chill out, whatever works for you. One more run through the memorization book, whatever it might be to help you. For heaven's sakes, bring what they tell you to bring. If they tell you to bring a number two pencil and your license, 
bring a number two pencil in your license. Wear a jacket or a sweater, a big thick one. Those computer testing glasses are notoriously freezing and it is hard to concentrate when your teeth are chattering. Trust me on that one, bring it along. If in doubt, ask, don't let that place scare you. If there is a problem with your test, if there's a problem with the computer, something's not working, make sure it gets noted so that you can follow up. I have got one last tip for you. We're gonna call that tip number 10, and I will meet you over at the bench in just a second. Are you ready for tip number 10? Well, good, I will make it as brief as possible. This is an ABO certificate. In fact, it's my ABO certificate. And I'll tell you, when I got that, I was extremely proud of it. The ABO is just a checkbox on your journey to being a really good optician. It is not a beginning, it's not an end, it's not a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. There is so much more to being a good optician than passing a written, low-passing score, multiple-choice test. Set your sights higher. Okay, um, as we like to say at Optician Works, please never stop learning. Go through the entire Optician Works course. Take a class if you can. Read your trade magazines. Go to your conferences and your trade shows. The more you experience, the more you learn, the more you try new things, the better your job's gonna be. You know, you're not gonna hate getting up in the morning and going to work. So never stop learning, and for heaven's sakes, have a little bit of fun out there and set your sights a little bit higher than just the ABO. What is out there was created people. Wow. <laughs>